This is my like eighth time in Hawaii. I always love coming here. It's great, you know. There's nice people. Everything's green. There's perfect waves. It's, it's great, you know, to have the opportunity to be here and to actually show my surfing and to surf good waves and have fun. I think Hawaii is important to any woman's surfing career, um, especially to pro surfers, because it, it forces a woman to, well, number one, confront fear, which is big waves. Number two, I guess, challenge themselves, which allows them to grow and become a better surfer. And number three, it cements you as the most versatile surfer in the world. Growing up in Hawaii, it was really easy to be a surfer. You know, from the moment I learned to surf, nobody ever said, oh, you're a girl, you can't do it. I mean, everyone I was around was really supportive, and, and all the guys I grew up with are like brothers, and they never made me feel like I was a sure or anything. You see a lot more these days, girls don't fall off like these two, you know. They're making the waves, they're making the turns, they're doing big moves, they're pulling into barrels. Well, I notice a lot about the, like the girls, for example, Carissa and, and Sophia, how, uh, I mean, Chris is only 12 years old, but she's already got that knowledge of, of how to draw her lines and her turns, and, and I've seen it in photos, and I've seen her surfing, and uh, she's so her surfing is so mature compared to a lot of people that are 12 years old. Even you know, you don't see 12-year-old boys doing turns she does. So sometimes it's it's a little hard, but I enjoy surfing against them because they motivate me and stuff. <laughs> The waves here in Haleiwa are just like some of the most challenging waves on the North Shore because depending on you know what kind of swell you got, like today we've got a building swell, so you know every uh, 40 minutes it seems like a bigger set comes through and cleans everybody up. And I'm just so nervous for Sophia, and it's, it's uh, I'm glad I changed my ticket. It's real exciting. It's so special, you know, like I'm so close to what my dream is, so um, it's so special, but you just have to deal with it and just do the best that you can. Lane Beachley wins the battle, Peru's Sofia Milanovic wins the war. To the delight of every surfer in South America. You know, I, I knew I, like, my goal was to be world champion today, like, also winning the contest, but my biggest goal was to be world champion, so, you know, I started thinking of that, but then when I caught a couple waves, I was like, oh, hey, you know, like, I want to win this contest too, you know, so, like, I'm just being honest. <laughs> <laughs>